Atma Namaste, everyone. Hello. So this Crystal Connect number eight, this is going to be a interesting Crystal Connect. So I'm just waiting for people to join. Meanwhile, if you're there, let me know by saying hey. Hi, Rupa. Hi, Pritika. Yeah, so just let me know if you're there by saying a hi and I'll reply a hi back to you. And we are on Crystal Connect number eight. Hi, Rupa. Hi, Krista. So this is actually an interesting, hello, Krista. So Citrine, it is today we are we're talking about this beautiful yellow crystal, which comes in many shades, you know, from from yellow, light yellow to slightly brownish. You know, we call it the color of the scotch as well. So Citrine is hi Muthu Kumar. Hi, thanks for joining. So with every crystal connect, you know, we are, we are trying to understand how we can use crystals more uh, in our life because these uh, babies come from Mother Earth and they have lots in store for us. But somehow, you know, because we have so got used to wearing the junk jewelry and um, we are so disconnected with all the instant things that are coming up, you know these crystals help us to again connect back to mother earth so i thought it's important for us to know hi pradeep it is very important for us to know what uh, benefit can they bring into our lives so this is crystal connect number eight we've already have seven crystal connects and we've covered seven different crystals so for those of you who are joining for the first time you can uh, you know see these crystal connects on my blog or on Facebook Live. So I do this, I try to do this every Thursday and I um, you know, talk about a new crystal every Thursday. So if you are hanging around, you know, you, you're most welcome to join me every Thursdays at 9.30 p.m. on Crystal Connect. So basically citrine is, is an ancient crystal. You know, it's like for mankind, we've known it for more than like 300 BC. So you can imagine how, how old it is. Hi, Mega. Thank you for joining. So um, we all know citrine as the crystal for abundance and prosperity, and um, which is right, but there is a lot more to citrine. And today in this Crystal Connect, we'll try to see how we can you know, utilize citrine in our day-to-day -day life or, or bringing in more, you can say, uh, prosperity or abundance or joy in our life so for those of you who are there I'm so happy for you to join and uh, I'm really grateful for your highs and for making me feel you're there so thank you so much so citrine actually Atma Namaste Anil so citrine is actually a quartz so it it, it is a hard um, crystal and um, it's the color, you know, as you see, the color varies from something like, you know, dark wine. And uh, it can go to, you know, the extreme. This is the yellow. So there is a variety of um, colors in, in citrine. It said the darker the quality the more the properties or you can say the more the strength so so when you compare the two you can you can realize which is a better quality okay so citrine is an excellent crystal when you want to follow your joy so for those of you who are stuck up in a job and who think that um, the job is not serving your highest purpose or it is not aligned with your higher vision for all of you out there, citrine becomes one of the in 
interesting and important crystal to carry with you so you know uh, you can you can carry um, citrine in your in your pocket or in your purse and uh, what i suggest is if you want to connect with any crystal start it by you know at least trying it for 11 days or more you know you can take it up to 21 days and these crystals uh, so these gems unlike the astrological gems are not very very harsh so they basically work on your chakra system and uh, the energies are very soft as compared to you know a, a pukraj or a, a neelam or a panna so so these are actually good for every person it's just that you need to have a tuning with them and once you know you get tuned to them and they get tuned to you you can have immense benefit with these crystals around you so basically citrine you know as you can see the different colors the colors are more like fall you know so this these crystals are also birthstone for the month of november so for all those who are born in the month of november can actually wear citrine if you want to and it's an excellent crystal to carry because in ancient days it was considered the merchant stone you know and if you know merchants it's all about you know prosperity abundance lots of sales so this was considered as the merchant stone and it is said to have brought in luck and lots of success and prosperity in life so all those if you are planning to buy citrine you should have it in your collection so all the crystal lovers all the crystal muses you should have a piece of crystal you know citrine in your safe or wherever you keep money so you know you can have it in your purse for ladies it's it's a wonderful crystal to have now uh, citrine is also if you see the color is yellow so the um, chakra associated with citrine is solar plexus and solar plexus um, though as pranic healers we when we talk about solar plexus we always feel about the negative emotions the lower emotions but if you have a healthy and active solar plexus you can be a very very happy and focused person you can be you know you can have a great self esteem you can be very very confident so for the people uh, you know who who suffer with lack of self esteem carrying a citrine or having a citrine around you is will help you in connecting with your own self in building good self worth in building good self esteem so it strengthens your solar plexus chakra and you know connects you with yourself or your sense of self so it it is an excellent crystal now because the color also represents like you know it looks like sun so for example the the necklace that i'm wearing is also citrine and the color is it's, it's shades of sun so it's also a it's very symbolic with happiness with joy so if you want to have happy relationships if you want to have you know intimacy with lots of love and happiness um joy spark this is also a good crystal that can be kept in your bedroom and also in children's room because you know it lifts up the spirit so whenever you wear citrine you can feel that your energy is uplifted so for all the people who are you know recklessly working on the heart chakra if you understand that if you have a healthy solar plexus your heart chakra automatically feels better because the energy can move up can move up and you don't mull over things that are done there is not not much of resentment or you know so so that ways it really really helps now uh, the planet for uh, the crystal is sun as i said because it it has so many shades of yellows till brown so you know it's like from dawn to dusk you can see all the colors in citrine so the planet the ruling planet for citrine is sun and sun uh, you know gives you a lot of will power it gives you a lot of strength so that's why it's good for people who have low self worth or who are actually struggling with their sense of self you know 
and especially um, you know when it comes to career and you think that you are stuck up in your career life or you are stuck up with things that you are doing which do not match with your life purpose or it doesn't give you a good sense of self it is excellent crystal for all of you out there so if somebody needs a, a boost or a pep in life you know you can actually without thinking you can give them a citrine it's it's that amazing a crystal the element um, for citrine is fire because of the yellow color it's very good for people you know who who have you can say with the issues you know it, it also balances that so strengthens your solar plexus balances your dosha related with the fire element within you it is really useful for that also now um, in uh, in case of herbs you know frankincense is a good herb that you know combines with citrine so for those who've done the crystal uh, beauty masterclass you know I, i've shared how we use in incense essential oils and crystals for amplifying the effect of crystals so for for citrine the um you can say essential oil is frankincense or also you can use an incense stick for frankincense it, it goes very well and it is very very uplifting so and also the tarot card for this is magician so for those who are in pranic healers you know we all understand that the magician is one of the most important or the first first um, you know card in the tarot deck and it has a lot to do so for any human being who whose solar plexus or whose sense of self is strong that person is most likely to succeed in life is most likely to do well in their life so prosperity and abundance are a byproduct of having um, citrine because it gives you a great sense of self it connects you with your higher purpose it gives it brings a lot of joy and fulfillment into your life so it's a great great crystal and uh, see because uh, interestingly you know we've associated citrine a lot with manifestation mm -hmm. you've heard that so citrine is also a crystal for manifestation so for example you know as uh, dale carnegie says whatever your mind can conceive it can achieve so this is the crystal for for manifestation so whenever you are doing a manifestation grid citrine becomes an integrate you know integral part of your grid because it really helps in in conceptualizing or visualizing your outcome your purpose it helps you in aligning with your goals or creating goals it clears up your mind when it comes to what next in life so it's it's an excellent excellent crystal for that now apart from um, the esoteric properties you know something physical if you have any kind of issues related with your pancreas your liver um, bile issues citrine is also helpful in in taking care of that because it is again associated with the solar plexus chakra so all the organs that are associated with the solar plexus can benefit from using citrine so you can try see all of these things are actually you can say it's uh, people say this but in order to try you know just try it just use these things and see how how it can benefit how it merges with the frequency or the vibration of these crystals merge with your aura and create wonders so all of this is there to try so you can you know validate it scan it for those who are pranic healers it's an excellent way to understand whether this crystal is going to work for you or not so all of that can be done now apart from the entire gyan on citrine uh, let's quickly see what what we can do to um, enhance our life with citrine so the first thing is a crystal essence so those of you who know about crystal essence they are very easy to make what you have to do is just have a nice jar or you can have a jug usually for manifestation and and prosperity i use an octagonal 
jar you know with eight sides eight has a specific significance in case of manifest manifestation and prosperity so what you can do is you place your um, water jug in the center and around it you can place eight of these tumble citrines or eight eight citrines around it and while you are putting the citrine you can you can actually say some affirmations so for example uh, you know i am confident i am powerful and like this you can create uh, you can place eight crystals around the water and uh, after you've done this you know you invoke and uh, you bless the water and you can leave it for like overnight or 24 hours definitely cover the water so that nothing falls into it and then if you drink the water this water will be infused with the energies of citrine so it's a good elixir to try to uplift your mood to make yourself instantly happy especially people who are suffering with depression you know uh, nothing against you but trust me their life out there is very very simple and very very uh, you're full of love and life so for people who are going through a tough time or are not happy with anything that is happening in your life just try this just infuse allow the citrine to be placed around the jug and then just sip that water and see and you will feel a lot of difference um, in the water so we all know the experiment done by Masaru Emoto and how the free you know the the energy around water can change the shape of the water molecules and you were 65 percent water so whatever happens to the water happens to you so when you're doing it with a lot of love with a lot of happiness joy and then you have these powerful crystals to back you up trust me the water changes completely so that is one thing that you can do with citrine and uh, you know on a regular basis probably you can have that water and uh, to add to it you can put the water during full moon and you know get it charged by full moon energies also because citrine is the crystal of sun even sunlight does good to it so you can place it in the sun also and have a you know sun charged water <laughs> to drink so that is a good way of creating your own crystal elixir or essence atma namaste sangeeta now most of the people ask that you know where which hand should i wear um, citrine so for example if you understand right hand is for giving left hand is for receiving okay so if you have to receive abundance from the universe you will wear it in the left hand okay and uh, when you want to give abundance out you will wear it in your right hand so that is that is also a, a way of understanding okay the eight-sided jug I have the one from luminar I don't have it right now here but yes I can show it Anil, yeah I can do that okay so um, you can do that uh, uh, uh. Yeah, and, and when you're wearing a crystal, you can have some kind of an affirmation like I'm so grateful, I'm so happy to receive abundance in so and so area of my life or for so and so purpose. So every crystal can become very, very purposeful when you, you know, charge it with your intention. So it's like, you know, you can clean your crystal, you can consecrate them, but intention is like you are giving work to that crystal to work alongside you so it's super important that whenever you wear any crystal jewelry just do it with a lot of in intention also for uh, for you know healing purposes you can use a you know, here I'm using a heart you can also place a citrine heart on your solar plexus to uh, gently you know balance your solar plexus chakra so, uh, you know, if you can hold hold this crystal near your solar plexus and just do a deep breathing, 6363, three, six, three, and just balance out your, and then you can imagine that beautiful yellow radiations from this crystal are just infusing into your solar plexus, um, you know, just unlocking or untying any kind of um, 
obstruction within your solar plexus chakra when you do it with a lot of intention and when you can visualize these colors going into your solar plexus chakra you will feel an upsurge in your energy and it's a good exercise to do whenever you know you feel restricted with lower emotions when you're angry when you're resentful you can use um citrine as your ally to just let go of that emotion gently okay so you can also do an emotional healing with with the citrine and we have quite a few of citrine hearts also available so if you want to order that's great okay the um other thing is also you know in order to when you are in public you want to project your confident self so wearing a citrine necklace or wearing a citrine earring which is like near to your neck area will help you in in projecting that self that confident self among public so if you if you are planning to become a speaker or your work is more to do in the public domain speaking and talking to people influencing people citrine is an absolutely amazing crystal to wear it around your neck or uh, as earrings so you know you can use that also atma namaste mini and here i have this big baby in citrine <laughs> so because i have a lot of love for citrine we find some you know huge crystals that i have so i i use it for uh, priya shakti i use it for so many purposes so this is a tower of citrine and we can use it in tremendous ways also i really really loved this this is a citrine shri yantra and this is approximately 900 grams in weight and beautifully crafted and we just have one of this piece so i thought i'll just show um, because it's an extremely powerful crystal and uh, if you place it with intention and uh, uh, we all know you know pyramids are the ultimate shape um, which has been created and has a lot of significance when it comes to storing and generating energy now that power of pyramid when it gets combined with you know the number of petals the number of sides and uh, indian heritage is is actually amazing and rich in it so shri yantra becomes an absolutely power generator for the entire house so for those of you you know who who believe or want uh, immense power or success you know try to utilize these sacred geometries try to utilize um you know the power of crystals all of these can transform your life in many many ways so this is from uh, today and as i said for all of those who are watching till the end you know we have a special discount on all the jewelry of citrine for today till midnight so if you're interested you can check out the crystal alchemy facebook page and i think things would be uploaded there and you would get a special discount only for today so if you want to you know go shopping post this this is the time for you so thank you so much for joining and if there is any question or you know, if there is any query about crystals okay we have the pendant also um you know crystals you can always write to me i try my best to connect with all of you personally and share as much as i know you know i have my own limitation but still i'm really striving and studying this topic so that i can bring you bring most of um you know the wisdom and knowledge that i can get from everywhere on these crystal connects and make it really powerful and packed for all of you okay thank you so much bye bye atma namaste lots of love good night thank you i love you rupa those eyes mean a lot to me thank you pritika i hope it is useful so if you if you actually you know make uh, use of this information do share it with me i would really love to know take care bye bye good night and yes okay so we are also doing a master class on wealth crystals and this i'm specially doing because so many of you are confused with the wealth crystals um for example there are so many of them like 
Green Jade, Aventurine, Golden Pyrite, Tiger's Eye, Citrine. So in this Wealth Masterclass, I'm going to discuss what is the specific use of these wealth crystals and how you can maximize um, the the uh, benefit of each of them when you are doing a manifestation or when you are using it for prosperity and abundance for example you're increasing your business getting more salary getting more clients how can you use the power of crystals and the combination the optimum combination for uh, maximizing the result for wealth okay so any of you who wants to join you're most uh, welcome it'll happen next weekend so i'll keep you informed till then atma namaste bye i i'll paste the website name amutu here itself